today we're going to do a very simple dish of warthog carpaccio. Now the warthog is smoked. This particular specimen I got from Passions in Parkers, which is a really nice daily. You should go and stop by. They do the Dalgo Valley pork as well. Um, the idea here is to make a really quick starter, which is fresh and light. And we're going to arrange the 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 the, 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 the sliced warthog onto the plate. Now the, the warthog comes with these fancy little plastic sleeves in between so that it doesn't make it difficult to pick them apart. What I'm going to do is make them into smaller pieces so that uh, you don't have one guy who walks up and eats half of the, your, your platter of carpaccio. You can also use the traditional presentation method which is to lay the carpaccio flat on the plate. I'm going to scrunch it up and make it look a little bit more homely and give it a little bit more volume. So we're going to break them into smaller pieces just like this. Uh, it, it just makes it go a little bit further. We're going to put a sweet carrot and pineapple mixture in the middle, top it off with a little bit of rocket and then some red wine vinegar. Now I kind of fluffed the video a bit and have a lot of pictures of my left elbow so some of the bits I'm not going to be able to show you. Here is how we make the carrot spaghetti. Now that's a zesting tool. That's a little thing with the tiny holes that you put in your drawer. And if you draw it down, it makes very nice uh, vegetable strips. Uh, not as fine as grated, and not as thick as chopped. So we're going to just draw some of that out, and we're going to do something similar to the pineapple. Now, unless your pineapple is very, very firm, you will get more of a juicy, mushy sort of thing out. Which is why we mix them together. Uh, break the head off the pineapple by bashing it on the end of the counter and then cut the tail off cut a slice down the side I, I normally only use about half the pineapple for this and then I, I make the leftover bits for snacks the same thing I did to the carrot while you weren't looking was had that for lunch this is a lot more mushy unless it's a, a slightly underripe pineapple in which case you lose out on the sweetness and it tends to be a little bit more tart so you get more like a pineapple mush out of it we're going to mix this together quickly uh, you can put it in a bowl if you really want to, but I find I've made a mess on the board already. I might as well just go with it. We're then going to put that into the space in the middle of the plate. Here we go. Just arrange it nicely. And then from there, we are going to top it with a little bit of Alpenzella cheese, which is a Swiss cheese. It's quite sharp. It's, it is an un pasteurized cheese. I know Skanda used unpasteurized cheese. But it's a really, really delicious. And it's not as um, strong as a as a parmesan, but it has a certain sharpness to this. Really, really good for this sort of thing. And yet again, I'm using my trusty potato peeler to make nice skinny shavings. And that's pretty much all you need there. Now, I've arranged some rocket on the top and I've drizzled it with red wine vinegar but like I say I fluffed the video a little bit so you've got a lot of pictures of my elbow so enjoy this it's light it's tasty 